Welcome back to some Bioshock Infinite. I have a cold at the moment. But fuck, you know. We're gonna listen to some audio tapes and shoot some food. Father Comstock with our new shield. Today to write his biograph. Me. We'll defend Man ourselves. Pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, well, I'd settle for less. And then the prophet looks to me and says, one hundred will suffice, as I know how it ends. Oh shit. That's fucked up. Dude, I really want to ride in an air balloon like that. That looks cool. To grab onto a freight hook, look at it. What? What does it mean? Look, grab. This is jump. I don't Oh shit. What the fuck? I didn't even know, man. What? What if I could hook onto them with this skyhook? <laughs> My vision is better has new abilities. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. Hold up. Dope as fuck. Oh, but she did. Oh, baby. I don't remember how. That's how you do it. Okay, we're two boss. No point hiding. They have armor. How do I reload? Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, uh, you'll lose some money. I don't know how to play. I don't know how to even use health packs, dude. Not to pick up like hot dogs and food and eat it. No. I know that's how you heal, but I don't know how to use med kits because I ain't got anything such as that. Damn it! I keep using that. I keep thinking there's like an aim button. Back out of my way! Out of my way! Use it! Panicking's not good. Not this. <coughs> I don't think the machine gun's really all that worth it. Man. I used too much. Oh, the shield recharges. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Oh God. Very nice. Let's 
Just gotta watch out for the guy. Machine gun. We'll go up here. Yes, that is what we needed to do. We need to use our ability. <laughs> I want this. I want the spindles. Give me spindle. Spindle be nice. Hey pigeon. Now, how the fuck does one do this? I don't know where I go. I get stuck on there, man. I don't know where to go. This thing doesn't respond, does it? Good. That's right. All I do is just lose money and make this more difficult for myself later on. Aye, aye, aye. supposed to go in here. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Oh my god, I have money. And a book. I'm just assuming it's going inside, man. <laughs> yes! The games always hit the peak of their expectations when you can use the bathroom. Locked. What? So you gotta go run around trying to look for a key in order to get into some of these places. Are you serious? Otis works up at the lodge part time. He took this box from one of their secret ceremonies. And I know for sure, there is something dear inside. Problem is, Otis is more fool than not. He didn't bother to also secure a key from the Feathered Brothers to open the damn thing. <laughs> I just straight up murdered that dude. Oh, I thought he had the key. There's no key, dude. What do you say optional? I ain't getting nothing. God damn. God damn. Get out of here. Drink some more booze. And figure out what the fuck to do here. <laughs> oh! Oh, you can just do that! I thought you needed pieces of the puzzle, you know. Jump to one, you jump to the other. Or you do an attack move on somebody. Oh, I like it when doors open up for me. It's very welcoming. Especially in horror games. But we're not playing a horror game at the moment. Shit. What do you expect these poor Negroes to do? <gasps> Racist! <gasps> Racist! Racist! Oh, 
Holy fuck. He's crazy, man. He's running at me with a gun. I need to shoot. Oh, I got it, though. I'm seeing, like, a sort of... <laughs> factor here. You kill civilians. You trigger police. Fuck. Holy shit, I lost like 40 bucks dying that time. It ain't cheap living. Infinitely. <laughs> We're stuck in a tight situation here. Big gun out. I'm gonna set the printing press on fire. Jeez Louise, man. Don't be killing racist people up in here, man. I think we've, like, in the fucking KKK era, dude. Like, Jesus Christ. Fucking racist woman. <gasps> well, this is one, this is a way more upgraded toilet. This one has arm stands instead of the other one. We're in the fancier house, house district. Even though the bedding looks like uh, something from a uh, orphanage. Help us! Oh! <gasps> Sleepy? You sleep? Do you not know I'm here, Mr. Sleepy? With all the gunfire going about, huh? Mr. Sleepy is here. You sleepy, sleepy. You sleepy, sleepy. Oh. Let me help you with that. <gasps> Go back to sleep. Back to sleep. You thought I was good to kill that person. <laughs> so did I. So did I. But you know, what a trooper. They just really don't want to fuck with anything that's going on out here. <laughs> They're like, I'm here gunfire, fuck this dude. I'm like, I'm gonna fake sleep it just so I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm back at the fair. Ah! Oh. Oh. Got him. Play that. Gomstock came by the wagon at dawn. Oh, I think I'm back at the thing. It is transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either yeah, he ain't seen mango going? native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope he don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figure that uh, birds are indestructible now. <gasps> Find out what happens in the next episode. What are through these double doors? That is blinking. Bites. Subscribe, like. See you in the next one. Huh?